Hi, there's been some talk, well, a lot of talk, actually, on the EV blog forum about the DHO 800. I'll link in the uh, thread. But there's uh, been a lot of talk in particular about the fan in here and how it's, well, my opinion, it's a little bit whiny. It's loud-ish. It's loud enough to probably annoy uh, some people. So anyway, um, I thought I'd just do some temp simple uh, temperature measurements. I've had this running overnight. I've got two different uh, measurements here. And there you go. They agree precisely. 39.4 degrees. Uh, ambient temperature here in the lab is about 24 degrees, according to my um, air con there. So we're talking, you know, 15, 16 degree uh, differential just running the scope like this. And it seems to be constant power of about 35, 36 watts, um, uh, regardless of what you're doing, whether or not you have one channel or four channels, whether you're doing math or whatever, it seems to be uh, the same power consumption. Haven't totally confirmed uh, that in all situations, but anyway, some people wanted to see that. So that's with the back uh, cover on, and if you want to see the thermal of that, uh, the peak down there, that is not actually the heatsink. That's actually off the heatsink. So it says that's uh, 43, but uh, yeah, it's don't take that because that. The heat sink is actually just shaped like that. There's like a little corner cut out in there. So it, I think it's viewing something else on the board in there. So what I'll do now is I'll take the uh, case off and I'll, di I'll disconnect the fan and see what temperature it gets up to with simply no fan, just like free air. And I've got no air con turned on the lab in here. So the air is still. Um, so let's see what we get. Hold on to your hat. I'm, I'm in the middle of shooting the amp air at the moment live, but this thing just reset, it got up to 70, it was at just over 70 degrees, and uh, yeah, it is rebooted, it is just stuck on the Rigol screen. So, yep, uh, with no fan, oops, we've completely come a guts of there. Um, yeah, I better, and, oh, that does not smell good, no, no, okay, no, I'm, I'm, I'm calling it. <laughs> Do not have no fan on your uh, DHO 800. All right, I finished recording the amp hour, and um, yeah, I had to switch this off. This was not not going well, so hopefully it um, it still works and I haven't damaged it. But yeah, um, I can confidently say, uh, do, yeah, sure, I didn't have optimized. You know, I didn't have a sitting like this where, where 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 like the vents on the top here could technically get stuff out, so it was trapped a little bit more in there. But I can confidently say, uh, yeah, nah, you're not going to get away with uh, passively um, cooling this with uh, by simply removing the fan. So. Let's see if it boots. Uh, that's, oh, no, no, that's good. <laughs> it's a bit worried there. Um, let's see, but yeah, um, not not good. It was like at least, like it was 70 plus degrees on the heatsink, so who knows what the dye temp is in there. No, that's dangerously high. Do not do it. You could, it, it all started to smell funny. Your plastics are going to go funny when your, you know, temperature's constantly at that um, you know, that high, uh, for example, they're not going to, you know, <laughs> you're not going to get, even if the scope still worked, you weren't going to get away with that, unfortunately. But, <clears throat> geez, this thing takes a long time to boot. Uh, oh, no, realize I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't, I don't think there's any damage. No, there's probably no damage. No, no, it's all good. We can turn on all of our channels and Bob's your uncle. No, okay, fine. I didn't damage it, but yeah. Sorry, you're not going to get away with that at all. Now, uh, some people wanted to know how much room there was in here. Um, I'll put up the figures. I think it's um, seven point. I measured it with my calipers. Um, there's not much thickness in there uh, between the plastic and the heat sink in there. I think it's seven millimeters or something like that. No, it might be seven millimeters from like the bottom of the heat sink up to the plastic or whatever. But yeah, anyway, it's, it's not very high. Um, at all. So, yeah, and then you've got these large um, fins in here. I mean, you could could chop them off, but there's three large fins like that. And uh, this fan um, is actually a fairly relatively standard uh, GPU fan. It's it's this triaxial mount like this. So um, it's a 50 millimeter uh, jobby. I'll get you the exact number. 
There it is there. It's a first D. Um, so, yeah, just a no-namer uh, jobby. But I think I even found one on uh, Mouser, and I'll link that in. Mouser or DigiKey, and I'll link that in. It's a uh, Delta fan, which looks to be similar. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but it looks to be um, a similar form factor. But that's a constant 5,000 RPM or something. It's just, you know, so it's, it's going to whine as well. But, of course, you could change the uh, voltage. So let me just measure that and uh, see what the output is. That is just a fixed uh, 8 volts there, so it looks like there might be a regulator around there. So this is a 12-volt uh, fan, so you could actually... So they are actually running it uh, low to, you know, not go the absolute maximum speed. So they, they figured that 8 volts was like what they needed, uh, you know, to run out, gave them adequate airflow to keep it uh, down while keeping the noise down, because otherwise they would have just run it at 12, I'm sure. Um, so they did... Looks like they've deliberately picked eight there. There's no there's no modulation on that. It's just a uh, fixed voltage. So you know you could uh, tweak that. Maybe you could you know lower it to five or something. You might get still get adequate fan flow, especially if you use a different fan. But in that configuration, you don't really have much option. And if you want the search term, you'd be searching for a frameless 50 millimeter uh, GPU fan. Um, so that that would be the that would be the search engine ticket. Um, but yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah, do not operate your uh, Rigol without a fan. You're going to come a gutsa, let me tell you. Anyway, catch you next time.